Friends, let us learn to use the B Octa People Expansion Device through this video. This is a very interesting surgery. This is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. At this time, the people is well dilated. Size of the people is about 7 millimeter. The initial steps are done. The main incision has been done. The red glow is good, so we need not use a, a dye to stain the anterior capsule. A side port is done on the left side of the main wound about three clock hours away. And now we use the stereo coaxial illumination to do the capsular access. The microscope is Lumera T from JICE and uh, Utrita forceps is being used to do the capsular access. Size of the rexis is good about 5.5 to 5.75 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done. At this time I have I, I observe that the there is floppiness of the iris. I rotate the nucleus bimanually to cause less stress on the jonule. And now see very carefully what happens. Let's go again. The handpiece is taken. The tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial lens matter is aspirated and now as I bury the tip of the phaco needle and try to have a good patches on the nucleus see what happens the people becomes small the iris tends to prolapse through the side port as well as through the main wound so I decide immediately to use the B octa people expansion device because in such cases when the people is already dilating to about 7 millimeter by the uh, visco B hex may not be the ideal device to use so B octa is the best thing in such cases and we can ask the inventor Dr. Subin Bhattacharji about uh, this whether B octa is better than a B hex in such cases. Uh, see the order. I have tucked the first the uh, flange which is in front of the main wound 11 o'clock then 8 o'clock flange and then 2 o'clock and at the end 5 o'clock. If we tuck the flanges in this order then visibility is good for the last flange. And now visibility is excellent and direct chop is carried out. We divide the nucleus into many fragments visibility is excellent so we divide the nucleus into fragments and then start emulsifying the pieces. Ultrasonic energy used is 75 percent, flow rate is 48 ml per minute, vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury in this case and see what I am doing for the last two fragments. I am peeling off the epinuclear shell and removing the nucleus only and after that you go to stereo coaxial mode visibility becomes more and we uh, remove the epinucleus and a portion of the cortex also is being removed by the handpiece itself but this is your choice cortical removal uh, you can do whatever you like I'm using a uh, Simco for removing the cortex. Visibility is excellent and in no time we clean the cortex. And now see one more thing. We can see the rexis margin all around except the area which is from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. That means this flange has tucked the rexis margin also. But it didn't cause any problem because the uh, initial the rexis was of adequate size rather on the larger size 
and now the lens goes into the capsular bag it is dialed into position and now I'm going to uh, inject some more visco and then remove the B octa ring I hold the flange at 7 o'clock and untuck this adjacent two flanges and then hold the flange at 2 o'clock and untuck the other two flanges the whole thing comes in front of the iris and then gently pull it out and now I use uh, a Simco and then a bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the cortex. B Octa is a new device invented by Dr. Sivan Bhattacharji, the same person who invented B Hex long ago. We are using B Hex and we are very happy with it. And we are really proud of Dr. Sivan Bhattacharji because in India it would have been a uh, burden on ophthalmologists if we had to use devices like Malugin ring which is very costly for uh, our patients. And now this is removal of some more visco. When I am happy that all the visco has been removed, I inject uh, moxifloxacin hydrate the side port close the side port and then a final lavage is done uh, to form the anterior chamber nicely and see the people it is round and there is no sphincter damage the wounds are checked Moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope you like this device and try B Octa People Expansion Ring.